They only commented saying that they are looking into the use of force. The pursuit ended in a residential neighborhood north of the 210 freeway. Sky 5 footage shows deputies from the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department approach the suspect's car, a 1996 Lincoln Coupe with their guns drawn. But the suspect appeared to surrender, even lying face down in the street with his hands behind his back. One deputy had his gun drawn while the other moved in from behind and got on top of the male suspect. The deputy with his gun drawn put his weapon away and then moved to the position near the top of the suspect's head. That's when things escalated. One of the deputies punched the suspect in the body at least 15 times. He also appeared to knee the suspect in the head at least twice. However, it's unclear if the suspect provoked this or if he was resisting arrest. After about a minute, a third deputy came in and helped the suspect into custody. This suspect was one of the three who was involved in the pursuit which began in Rancho Cucamonga and ended in Pasadena. A police car from the Rancho Cucamonga Police Department also crashed at the end of the pursuit. Firefighters were called in to help alleviate the threat of the suspects. The man who struck the deputy with his fist um, one of them is in a neck brace and was taken away in an ambulance. Now, at this point, it is unclear if the officers were hurt in this incident. So far, officials are commenting about the use of force. Back out here alive, we will continue to stay on top of this. At this point, this is really just developing, and we'll have more information, from, um, including interviews with the witnesses and with the officers, coming up at our 3 o'clock newscast. Live in Pasadena, I'm Lena Bogan. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.